um, you said of your mother that raised you, okay. who was white. Right. Um, you said she noticed a pile of trash at the side of the house. Something made her look at that pile. And when she did, she saw a tire and behind it, a baby foot was sticking out. Uh -huh. And that foot was mine. Uh -huh. That was your start. That to was the family. start. That was the start to family. And for yeah. you, so the mother who raised you, the family mm -hmm. who raised you, mm -hmm. they were inspired by a Kennedy speech. Yeah. Which yeah. you detail in the book. Yeah, there was. What, a, I'm sorry. The, go ahead. There was a speech that Kennedy um, had during the Civil Rights Movement, um, and he talked to white America. And he stated, when you look back at this point in history as a white American, can you say that you did something about the race problem? And so my mom and my dad were teachers, and they decided that they were going to go to Mississippi. They were in the Midwest. Yeah, in the Midwest, in Wyoming and Colorado. Mm -hmm. And they decided they were going to go to the Midwest. And, I mean, go to the, the south. south and help with this problem. So they went down there, immunized children, did voting drives, and in, in that, they met my mom. Your biological real mom. Mm -hmm. When they came back there the following year, she was gone. Mm -hmm. They were just there. And they said, but we think we, she left her youngest child at such and such house. So my mother, being nosy, <laughs> went to see, and that's how she discovered that's me. That's how she discovered yeah. you that day. Can we bring that right. picture back for a second? You, you noticed something? Yeah. yeah, because that's my mother. My mother made that shirt. My mother made sure I had that little chain. She tried to give me that. Pick your hair out. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> but that's the thing about her, was she, she, she's actually taught me my culture. Mm. You know, when in first, yeah, yeah. So, in first grade, when I first got to school, I, I raised the Black Power Fist during um, the, in first grade. the Pledge of Allegiance. Okay. So the Pledge of Allegiance, you know, on the flag, I went, you know, like that. Yeah. You, know? <laughs> you know, I was Colin Kaepernick back then. So, 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 so she comes to school, and I got in trouble for it and everything. And she, boy, she, and she likes doing stuff like this. She told the principal, that's all he knows about who he is. You know, when we came to D.C., he learned Say It Loud, I'm Black and I'm Proud by James Brown. Yeah. And he loves that song. Mm. So that's who he is. Now, he'll learn the Pledge of Allegiance because you're teaching it to him, but that's who he really is. Wow. Yeah. How do you define the greatness of In Living Color? Whew. Uh, there was a crack in the universe that let us in, yeah. honey. Because, yeah. because, yeah. Because, I mean, yeah. nothing like this has ever existed. I love how you say in the book, it wasn't a black show, it wasn't a white show, it was a humankind show. Human and kind that's of. why you blew up TV. Yeah, that's why. And it was just the time for everyone to come together. Because we had laughed at the same things, yeah. but had been separated as people. Mm. So this is the first time that all... That this is what America really looks Which like. Which is coming from you your I mean? childhood, yeah. too. I mean, when I think about that... In it. Being raised by a white mom and the story there... Right. That kind of embodied the energy mm -hmm. of In Living Color, the irony of your own childhood. Yeah. There's so many stories to unpack, but I tell you one that caught my attention. How did you almost get into a fight with Will Smith? It's in the book. Explain our audience. That's one of the strangest I, I, things. I, okay. Um... <laughs> You gonna say that? Okay, all right, all right. It's in the yeah. book. Oh, it's in the book. You were doing a movie with Jay right, Pinkett. Right, 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 right. You had a kiss right. scene. Right. So what happened was this. Now I didn't find out till years till later why he wanted to kind of fight me. So so, what he came into the trailer where me and Jada were, and he said, "I don't appreciate that, man." The kiss right. scene, which was right, a but part I of the movie. Know that that's what happened. Oh. All I know is that he came into the the trailer where we were and was like, up in my face, like, "Yo, I don't appreciate that." And I, after a little while. I was like, he was like, I need to talk to you. And oh. so I was like, all right, let's go outside and let's talk. And then Jada was like, no, 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 y'all. Uh, no, no. Y'all ain't gonna do that here. Y'all are not gonna do that here. And I'm so glad she said that, because yeah. he's like that big. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I, you Thank know, if, to y'all, he's a Will Smith, the, the you know, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. To me, he was a big black dude about that high. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Will ain't small. And he's from Philly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. Yeah. I lived in North yeah, Philly. You don't yeah. want that smoke. So if a black man get mad at you from Philly yeah. and come at you, you best be ready. So in the you know? end, the, the, I, this iconic show in Living Color, is there going to be a reboot? Would you be on board? Is there something like that in the horizon? It always is as long as we're here. Mm. As long as we're here, we run that potential. You know, and, and we really love the show. Yeah. You know? yeah.